Welcome to Business with Teacher T. In this video, we're going to look at building brilliant analysis. Analysis is one of the higher order skills that you need to learn for business. Now, having good business knowledge is important, but to be able to aim for those higher grades, you need to know how to analyse. You need to be able to show coherent and logical chains of analysis and you need to be able to show cause and effect, or the consequence. Now let's look at some ways to build some brilliant analysis in your business essays. Now as analysis is a higher order skill, you will need to show how you can develop a chain of analysis by showing how the cause of something happening can have an effect on something else. You should use connectives to do this. So let's say Teach T spotted a gap in the market and because of that created a brand new bed for dogs. Just a disclaimer here, this is not my bed. I have not created this. Let's continue. So we could consider what happened after that. This led to Teacher T deciding to start advertising this doggy bed where her target market would hopefully see the doggy bed on certain social media sites and in pet magazines. Therefore, there was increased brand awareness for the Teacher T doggy bed. Now that is just a brief example of how we can show links, how we can consider the effect and impact, and how we can include connectives. There'll be a more detailed example later on in this video on using keywords such as because leads to and therefore. But let's look at some more connectives. Now here are some examples of some connectives, some words that can help you link to the impact, the effect and the actual consequence. So we have because leads to therefore, even though this means that, furthermore, consequently in turn, although, also in addition to and as a result. So you're typically expected to use three to four chains of analysis in your answer, dependent on the exam board. So that's three to four connectives explained and in context with the case study. So here's a way to remember how to incorporate some of the connectives that we've just looked at. So on the screen before you is a bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich, otherwise known as a BLT, although this is a vegetarian version but it's a BLT nonetheless. So BLT stands for bacon, lettuce and tomato, but it also stands for because, leads to, and therefore. Using because, leads to, and therefore, or three other connectives, can help you to link your sentences and to form a chain of reasoning in your essay, the logical chain of analysis that the examiners are looking for. You do also need to consider possible consequences. For our doggy sofa example, our consequence was increased brand awareness. Let's look at some other possible consequences. So you've started to write your answer and now you're focusing on the analysis section and you've written because, started to explain it, leads to, started to explain it and now you're getting onto the therefore you're getting onto the consequence so the consequence is about the impact of something happening the effect of it there are a number of consequences that you might choose from to use in your answer which is dependent on the essay question many students have a tendency to just use profit as a consequence without exploring other consequences let's look at some other consequences now it could be that a business has increased revenue or decreased revenue, could be increased profit or decreased profit, could be to do with the market share, maybe there's more competitors coming into the market, so there's a fall in market share, could be to do with the cash flow, brand loyalty, could be increased sales or decreased sales, increased brand awareness or decreased, it could be to do with employee motivation, um, could be even increased productivity, or efficiency, or even a fall in demand. 
So these are some of the consequences that you could explore within your analysis. Finally, let's look at an example of analysis in practice. Now, this isn't the entire answer, nor is it a perfect answer, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how to incorporate logical chains of analysis within your essays. So you can pause the video here so you can have a read of it. Hopefully now you have more of an understanding of those logical chains of reasoning and how to build brilliant analysis within your business essays. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the business vibe, don't forget to subscribe.